Good evening, everyone. Joe for 10 I'm doing a uh, three box random letter break, number 10, of uh, 2015 Topps Vault Originals. Those are the five by seven autographs that are already top loaded for you. They're all your first name letters right here. So if you get H, that means Hank Aaron. All right, so keep that in mind. If you get I, that's Ichiro. Makes sense, right? That's according to this checklist right here. Pretty small checklist, so we'll, we'll certainly see some familiar faces in this. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into the 10 buck break action. There's all the letters right here. And let's randomize each list. Four and a two, six times. Names first, one, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Richard down to Ryan. Once again, four and a two, six times for the letters. One, two, three, four, Five and sixth and final time. V down to F. That almost kind of spells Vladimir if we had the. Anyway. I'm just seeing patterns and things. All right. Oh, that's a little too aggressive there. There we go. So Richard with V, Tice with A, Richard with D, uh, Robert, you have the L and N with your last bot mojo. David Kiss with R. Tim Haynes, you got I and T. Robert with J. Richard with P. Trevor with O. Tice, you have B and M. Rick, you got C. Richard with E and H. Oh yeah, there, there's the E that you were looking for. And Ryan Redman with F. Let's sort the letters alphabetically. Um, oh, you want to see the list? So Tice, with your A and B and M, there are your A's and your B's and your M's. Can I make this little font a little bit bigger for you to read? So there's a checklist right there. If you need to know what, uh, what players your specific letter has, let me know. And if you want to trade some letters. Be bold. Let me know. I grabbed three random, uh, there they are, three random envelopes back there. So we'll see. We'll see what's inside in just a bit. While people are considering some trades, I'll post another three envelope break of this. Letter B, Tice, you have Bill Mazeroski and Bernie Williams. So this is break 10 that we're doing right now. Break 11 will be the next one on 10 .com. Go ahead and check it out. This is a fun break. Low risk, as with everything on 10 .com, low risk and potential high reward. Any trades? Ty says B for trade. So if anybody wants Bill Mazeroski or Bernie Williams, Yankees fans out there maybe. Bill Mazeroski, the only person with a walk-off in, in game seven, right? Yes. Bill Mazeroski was a uh, key member of the Pirates World Series winning teams in 1960. And then in 19, uh, 1971, 60 and then 71, best known for his walk-off home run at the bottom of the ninth inning in Game 7 of the 1960 World Series, the only Game 7 walk-off home run in World Series history. And that's got to be... A, it's pretty incredible. They beat the Yankees four games to three. Casey Stengel's... Yankees. All right, I don't see any trade, so I think we're just going to go. Good luck.
So no trades. Trade window closed. First envelope. Good luck, everybody. Just for maximum suspense. And it's 30 out of 99. You guys want to guess? 30 out of 99. He's 5'11", 255. That is not true. 5'11", 255. He's a lot more than 255. Born in 1986 in Puerto Cabello, Venezuela. Switch hitter. Right-hander. This guy brought a big bat and an e I'm reading the copy right here. The, uh, this guy, I'm not reading his name though, this guy brought a big bat and an even bigger clubhouse presence to the Red Sox in 2015. That should give it away. After he was signed as a free agent, he boasts a remarkable postseason resume that includes three World Series rings in five years. Ugh. Uh, he owns the second best batting average, 426, in the fall classic lore and hits record, 26 and 14, for a single postseason. 30 out of 99. It is Pablo Sandoval, the failed Pablo Sandoval, Sandoval experience. 30, that's not true. 5'11", 255. So there you go, letter P, that'll go to Richard. Richard S. All right, next one. Richard S. is looking for the uh, looking for Edgar Martinez. That's like the big chase for him. This guy, six two one eighty, was born in nineteen thirty four in Baltimore, Maryland. Bats right, throws right. Signed in 1953 for this team as a free agent. 30, the numbering, by the way, is 33 out of 99. Eagle-eyed this guy was one of the best ever at striking the delicate balance between patience and aggression. His maturity of approach at an early age was astonishing. And in 1955, the 20-year-old 20 20 became the youngest player ever to win a batting title, 340. His 22-year career ended with 3,007 hits and 399 home runs, but never a day in the minor leagues. Rick's got it. It's Al Kaline. Al Kaline for the letter A and Tice. There you go, Tice. Uh, from what I from what I know, which isn't that much, but from what I know, um, Al Kaline still really beloved in Detroit. I think he's still still with us, right? All right. He is still alive. Al Kaline still, he's 83. 83, okay. Final one. This is numbered 61 out of 99. He is 6'4", 240. Born in 1964 in Havana, Cuba. I actually did not realize that. Uh, bats right, throws right and was drafted 15th overall by this particular team. Uh, this guy, this guy, carved out his superstar status while initiating his career with the these guys. They returned for one more season in mid-career. He won American League Rookie of the Year and MVP awards, as well as two home run crowns in the first go-around with this team. Then, in the late 90s, he connected for the longest home run, 470 feet, ever at this stadium. 
Who am I? And remember your uh, remember your 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 list right here. Pretty small list. Ty's guessing Frank Thomas. Not Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas, not born in Havana, Cuba, as far as I know. Where was where was Frank Thomas born? Columbus, Georgia. Not that far away. It's this guy, Jose Canseco. I mean, feel free to use this the entire canvas right here, Jose. Maybe a late late night Jose Canseco. This goes to letter J, Robert Hausner with that one. Maybe you had a late night, Jose? That's like 80s party Jose right there. There you go, Robert. And there you have it, folks. That was a fun uh, Topps Vault Originals 5x7 autograph break from 10buckbreaks.com. That was break 10. There's more on 10buckbreaks.com if you want to run this back, so check it out. 10buckbreaks.com with Joe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.